Hello everyone, David Saad here from Sky Gems. Thank you so much for taking the time to look at this absolutely exquisite kunzite. So this is an incredible gem, absolutely lovely. Very pleasing to the eye. It has magnificent cutting. You can see that it, uh, you know, it crosses from the, the, the parts of the gem from the top to the bottom or the table, crown, uh, girdle, pavilion, and the culet. And you can see the cuttings. Lovely and symmetrical across the table. Uh, the crown is well cut, well polished. It comes to the girdle very nicely. It's polished well at the girdle, and it's not a thick girdle. And you can see across the back, the cutting again, it's very symmetrical. Uh, it's coming up to the culet. The, the pavilion comes up to the culet well, and uh, again, it's, it's a lovely, very symmetrical gem. And uh, it's, it's just, it's a, this is a really pretty stone, right? At the end of the day, that's that's what it is. This is a really, really pretty gem that is going to make an incredible piece of jewelry. Um, what I actually like to do with gems like this that are elongated, people will often say, you know, oh, it's long, I have to, you know, it's going to be set like this because that's, you know, that's like the right way or whatever to do it. Personally, gems like this, um, I like to, I really like to set them east-west, sideways, right? So, uh, and I'm just going to kind of come in here a little bit. So if you have something, and I know obviously I'm not the one wearing it, but if you have something like that, right, it's a good size. Um, and, uh, right, it's a good size to come out that you can just have, I mean, even a reasonably thin chain with a, uh, with a basket, a double gallery basket setting, uh, a reasonably thin chain. I mean, you don't want to do too thin, but, uh, you know, just, uh, that it, you know, a, a thinner chain that the chain is not the, you know, the piece and, um, have it there with, you know, nothing else. You don't need anything else to make a gem like this gorgeous, right? This is a, it's a 12 karat gem. It's, it stands out on its own. Um, you know, I love, I love putting diamonds around pieces. I mean, to make this a cocktail ring with diamonds would be absolutely, you know, really cool. Um, I don't know if, uh, you've seen there, they, you know, now it's, it's become quite popular to make a single ring that goes across two, uh, you know, two fingers and you can do something like that with uh, a couple of rounds on either side. I would almost like to see like, um, round, uh, you know, green or blue cabochon tourmaline on either side, right? Like three millimeter round cabochon tourmaline, uh, you know, green, blue tourmaline, um, on either side of something like this and really see something special. And, um, you know, what's neat about Kunzite is you will almost certainly be the only person you know who owns uh, a piece of Kunzite jewelry. It's, uh, it's an incredible gem with incredible color. It has a really unique color to it. The only other gem that I know of that has this kind of purplish pink to it is uh, Pink Diamonds. And obviously, you know, 12 karat stones that are clean like this, like this is eye clean, uh, it's almost loop clean at 10 times magnification. Uh, obviously, a uh, 12 karat pink diamond like that's a little bit more expensive. But, um, yeah, this is a, you know, it's an impressive stone. It's going to impress anybody who, you know, anybody who sees it. People that know will be impressed because they'll say, wow, that's a beautiful piece of kunzite. People that don't know are going to say, oh my gosh, what is that? And uh, you'll say, it's kunzite, and they'll say, what's kunzite? And you'll say, well, that's actually a gem that was found by a man named George Coons, who was the, uh, he was the gemstone, uh, the colored gemstone buyer for Tiffany & Co. Uh, in the late 1800s and early 1900s. And he discovered it, uh, and it became a gem, I believe, in 1903. And Tiffany made all kinds of beautiful, beautiful pieces of uh, kunzite jewelry, all custom pieces, one of a kind. Um, you can take a look, uh, you know, you can take a look at pictures if you just search up, you know, Tiffany kunzite jewelry 
and you're gonna see mostly mostly uh, you're gonna see auctions that have pieces of um, jewelry from you know impressive impressive estates so like any any lady from New York in uh, the early 1900s you know uh, the 1915 you know the, uh, the the teens even into the 20s uh you know any fine you know any lady of standing from new york would have a, a kunzite piece from tiffany so you do get to see some really interesting estates come up right like you'll see things like the you know the the campbell family estate or you know from um boston the craft family estate or whatever it is and um yeah you get to see those kinds of things come up at uh at auctions like sotheby's and christie's and whatnot and uh it's it's pretty neat so um whether you buy this or not go take a look uh at some kunzite uh some tiffany kunzite jewelry you're gonna see some really incredible stuff so if you have any other questions comments let me know uh, if you have a design in mind that you'd like to make a piece of jewelry with this, let me know. I can get you a quote on that. And uh, if you have anything else, drop me a line. I'd love to hear from my customers. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.